When I was earning my degree in engineering, one of the most difficult concepts to grasp was projectile motion. Being a hands-on learner, I struggled with word problems and lectures in physics class. I know I'm not alone, so I developed the PME or projectile motion experiment to help students get out of their own heads and learn the most effective way possible. This experiment utilizes a 3D printed catapult and a set of lessons to encourage students to make assumptions, test their hypotheses, and most importantly, ask questions. The kit can be used by a wide array of educational levels and is easy to implement in any classroom. The catapult and its accessories were based on ancient technology and modeled in 1-2-3D design by Autodesk. The experiment is designed to be both a lesson in physics as well as an introduction to 3D design. If an instructor's main objective is to introduce students to 3D printing, the PME makes a fantastic and reliable project. There are many areas of the catapult that can be customized and experimented with so that the student has a unique product. By adding their own touch to the catapult, they can experiment with what works best. Assembly is extremely simple with a snug peg and hole design so it holds up to extended use but is simple enough to adjust and reassemble. Having fun and experimenting in the classroom is not limited to any age, so the PME is scalable to entertain young minds and even challenge college students. This is accomplished with multiple lesson plans with skill and educational level in mind. For classes between 4th and 8th grade, the experiment demonstrates an object trajectory when given energy. Putting a bowl a certain distance away from the PME and letting them take turns launching into the vessel will sharpen their motor skills and give them opportunity to ask what influences the distance of the projectile. In another setting, students in high school and even college can use mathematical concepts to walk in the footsteps of those who develop the calculations that influence large accomplishments from space travel to engineering industries. Before launching, the teams of students can use projectile motion and energy equations to calculate where projectiles will land depending on the spring constant of the launcher, the angle at which the arm is drawn back, and what angle the projectile leaves the PME. Then, they can test their hypotheses by going through several trials, recording and graphing their data, and most importantly, reflecting on their results. Thank you so much for watching the video. I really hope that I opened your eyes to the possibilities of hands-on learning with the PME. I personally don't have a 3D printer yet, so I built this demonstration prototype out of materials that I found around the house. But I highly encourage you to download the 3D models that I provided so that the experiment can be optimized for customization and an introduction to 3D modeling and 3D printing. Well, thanks again so much for watching the video and good luck to the other makers.